Hi, good morning. Today we talk about the uh, Java Lambda expression. So, what is mean by Lambda expression? If you are aware about the uh, TypeScript or a multiple languages, which is like as a Python or a JavaScript or a multiple TypeScript languages, Node.js kind of stuff that already providing a Lambda expression. So, Lambda expression, it's the easiest way to representation of a method. So, in a, in a, in a Java, if you want to define a method, you need to provide like public is access specifier, then return type of that method, then method name then parameter of that and then you need to write the actual business logic and then need to return if method a uh, name or a method uh, is only one liner or two liner that time also we need to write the multiple stuff this is a common stuff everywhere we need to write so to avoid or to overcome this redundant code java provided a lambda expression to to write the things okay in a today's session we talk about what is a lambda expression syntax of the lambda expression ways to do that sorting with the lambda expression threading how we can create a thread using the lambda functions filtering how to filter the data similar we we check in a upcoming stream sections and example multiple examples of the lambda expression with the frequently asked interview questions okay that part also will cover here so at at okay at a basic if you check about the uh, the definition that means clear and a con conceive way to represent a one method that known as a that known as a lambda function so argument list whatever you need to uh, provide that uh, here you will provide in a bracket the expression that means uh, you are writing uh, some anonymous method with the open and curly bracket and this is a method name so this is a parameter okay this is a separator and this is a code of your code block so in a one line you can write this code which is a redundant we just discuss for example uh, like interface is a drawable is a interface and here draw is a one method so basically uh, without the lambda expression generally we write as a drawable d and this is an anonymous class where we are saying new drawable which is an instance of, of a class anonymous class we are extend by drawable and inside that we are implementing this a uh, draw method here like public void draw and uh, drawing the with the width and here if you call d dot draw you will get output as a drawing the width okay whatever width we are assigned okay this is with the traditional approach with the anonymous class okay anonymous class but if you want to do this same way with the with the lambda expression how can you do that okay this is the way okay you just mentioned drawable this is your all this stuff code new drawable this is this is a this only bracket define this whole stuff and open bracket curly bracket here you you are defining that public word draw is no need to define because there is only one method which is a draw so by default whatever code inside this two bracket that will directly go into into this draw method so system dot out dot drawing with the width and if you call d d2 dot draw same same output will again okay so if you check like the lot of code uh, is not needed to write like new drawable apart from this method name also no need to write okay so the the, the only only part which which is a required that only we write here that's why lambda expression is a, is a more more trending in a, in a new age technologies multiple language are providing the lambda support okay uh, so uh, if you if lambda expression without argument how you can define like like here the plain bracket without any parameter and you are just printing the hello with a or with a one argument like no need to define a bracket it's optional because there is only one parameter so here you are in as a s and s should be printed as here with the two argument there should be bracket required because the comma is there so this is a two parameter and just adding that here with the explicit argument type like uh, other than the uh, if you want to define your own uh, object type like integer integer you can define but automatically get type custody into object and with the multiple statement you just write a curly bracket and write multiple lines like print 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 and return the summation of this so this is a high level view without the parameter with the one parameter with the two parameter with the object uh, object type and multiple lines how can you define the lambda expression okay we'll check with the example like here also we provided like s as the example uh, with the parameter here i am also added like int a and int a this is the interface where add is a method and if you want to do same way here i can do a a, a and a plus one so this is a also example uh, apart from that in a lambda expression if you want to iterate that here i am looking like list for each and in that for each i am passing one lambda expression function where n is a single parameter and printing that in earlier also we we discussed the example like with one parameter and two parameter this is the same same example uh, for, for it uh, how to create a thread so earlier thread section if you if you visited our video you can check it out the two ways to create uh, the thread one is a uh, by extending a thread class and by implementing a uh, runnable interface okay in runnable interface you need to override the run method so uh, you know that earlier we talk about the anonymous class so same way implemented we like this is a method we created and uh, the only one light which, which we added okay runnable interface have only run method only one method so by default whatever you are writing here that automatically go into this code okay this goes here okay like uh, uh, thread 2 is a running and when we you are creating object like thread t2 with a new thread r1 which is a runnable interface like a runnable class anonymous class and then when we call t dot star automatically 
this, this anonymous class object get created and run method get called and that thread 2 is running method should be printed okay this is the way you can create a thread using the lambda expression uh, how you can sort that this is a simple one like uh, the sort is a function here you are doing anonymous comparable uh, means a, a comparator class like you are passing two methods p uh, two parameter p1 and p2 and you are just comparing two with the first object like p1 dot name compared to with the p2 dot name okay these two are you are comparing okay and uh, this is the this is the same way like new comparator new comparator anonymous class using that you can create that so yeah this is a simple simple one with the, without without the defining anonymous class or the compare to method you compare method you are directly writing this means this code if you want to write without the lambda expression it require 10 10 lines but it it get completed within a two lines okay that's the power of a lambda expression uh, here here it, it's a, and ju just a simple example like we are we are doing student dot stream and we are passing multiple lambdas function here like student is a class s1 this is a parameter and we are checking grade if the grade year is a 2011 then it should passes to the next filter you will get more details about stream in the next section but here if you just concentrate on the lambda expression like parameter is the student and the code is the s dot grade year equal to 2021 apart from that student s1 is a parameter and s dot get store is a code so it's easy to write a single single line hold the function instead of writing, writing the three four five line parameter and most of the code are redundant so it directly converted into one line that's the main main use cases which which is getting solved uh, by java lambda expression uh, if you have any doubts in a lambda expressions let us know we'll we'll discuss in upcoming session yeah thanks all bye